Patricia Cara debunks the Duchess claim about Bra Station. Patricia Cara, who worked on the game show with Meghan, told Inside Edition that she did not feel the same way the Duchess did and denied that there was any station where bras were padded. It's unfortunate that she felt that way because in my experience, I've never, ever felt that way, Cara said. She then insisted, there was no bra station. There was no bra station. Cara worked on the show from 2005 to 2009, appearing in all every season and even returned for the reboot in 2018. Since her time as a briefcase model, she has been featured in several magazines and commercials and had roles on a number of TV programs. Meghan Markle was made to stuff her bra and wear ultra-short skirts while working on US telly hit Deal or No Deal. Prince Harry's wife was inspected daily by producers to ensure she was not putting on weight as one of the show's briefcase babes. She had to audition in a swimsuit to get the job on the primetime hit and before filming the models, whose prize boxes contained up to $1 million, would use tape to hold their boobs in place when not wearing a bra. Former co-star Tamika Jacobs, 38, revealed, Meghan's aspirations were to win an Oscar or be on Broadway, so if you're in a mini dress, high heels, with your boobs taped together and pushed up when what you want to do is serious acting, then it's tough. She added, there was a lot of pressure not to gain weight and we were inspected every morning. The producer would stand on a chair and have us all line up. He'd look at us and say, more hair on her or fix her boobs and there was a lot of stuffing our bras. We'd crack up about how much stuff was inside them. Sometimes we'd mess around and squeeze our breasts together and bend over so you could see the seven layers of foam. Megan had a great figure and filled out her dress very nicely. Meghan had worked in a U.S. embassy in Argentina before choosing acting after meeting a Hollywood manager at a party. She had TV cameos before, in 2006, landing the job at NBC's Deal or No Deal in which contestants choose from sealed briefcases containing a marker for various amounts of cash. Bosses liked her look and soon had her on screen in outfits made to cling to every curve and to show as much flesh as possible. On Meghan's attitude to the dresses, Tamika said, she'd be looking at you like, really? It was clear she was thinking, girl, these are short. She was good with facial expressions where she didn't have to say anything. She went on, the dresses would come in full length and you'd feel like a beauty queen wearing it, then you'd watch the seamstress cut it. None of us enjoyed the skimpy outfits, especially as the set was very cold. Married Tamika, an LA-based photographer, said the girls got dressed in the same room. She said, Megan never seemed self-conscious. She never came off as insecure or shy, although she wasn't one of the girls who would parade around in her underwear. She was definitely one of the quiet ones. Despite the scrutiny on their weight, Megan, box 24, tucked pizza and crisps behind the scenes, said Tamika. She worked long hours for around 600 pounds a day and was always seeking other roles. In 2011, she was picked to play Rachel Zane in legal drama suits and never looked back. She wanted to be an actress and had greater aspirations than just wanting to be a model. You can tell the ones who are going to go on to bigger and better things. I wasn't all that surprised when I saw her in the news dating Prince Harry. Tamika lost contact with Meghan when the future princess left the show after a year. Future Prin